When 21-year-old University of Washington journalism student Cooper Inveen left for Freetown, Sierra Leone this past June, there were only 30 cases of Ebola in that country. In fact, in the offices of a woke... For a few months this summer, Cooper Inveen was able to pursue his dream of writing for a Sierra Leonean newspaper. Until, that is, the threat of Ebola began to rear its ugly head. I actually remember when Cooper came to the orientation for new journalism majors um, because he came up to me afterwards and said, I want to go to Awoko. I want to do this internship. Um, so I remember that Cooper was like, this is where I want to go. What do I need to do to get there? By all standards, it was just uh, the more than I could have ever asked for ever. Like a journalism internship, like through my school, like that could have been anywhere from like study abroad to in Rome or just like anything just so not what I was expecting. Not your average intern, Cooper immediately threw himself into the heart of Sierra Leonean politics. All the uh, the people who had interned at that particular newspaper previously had always written their stuff about, like, oh, here's my favorite beach. This is the food that I like the best. This is the time I have walking to work in the mornings. And it's like, that's cool. stuff, But it's just not me. I couldn't feel real writing that kind of stuff. And so I kind of tried from the get-go to try to write about the issues that I seen that were the mo I thought were the most pressing. Awoko, the newspaper I was working for, is one of like three independent uh, journalism outlets in the entire country and so it's taken very seriously. One of the few papers that ends up on the president's desk every morning. And so there were things that I almost couldn't say because of the visibility, just kind of like, well, who the hell is this guy shows up and all of a sudden he's critiquing us and stuff like that. The kind of things that I was writing about, again, were being written about in many other publications. But for the most part, there's a, there's a decent amount of press freedom in Sierra Leone, but it does get cut off quite abruptly. The freedom of the press is really, really different in all of these different countries that we send students to through the Foreign Intrigue Program. And that's a big part of what they're learning in these internships. Um, and so, I like that Cooper was pushing those boundaries, but it's also really important for the students to, to work closely with their host publication and know that they're not doing something that's going to endanger them or endanger the other journalists that they're working with. Unfortunately, Cooper was never given enough time to truly ruffle the feathers of Sierra Leone's police or government as Ebola burst onto the scene and threatened his stay in Freetown. I was, I mean, I was pretty, pretty headstrong about not leaving about feeling that I was perfectly safe as long as I acted safe, washed my hands with the chlorine dispensers that were in front of every building, avoided large crowds, long sleeve shirts, um, the things everybody's doing now. We always prepare students for kind of emergency and disaster situations and have a really solid plan of what to do if something happens, um, but it's never been quite like what happened with Cooper. Everything changed in mid-July when Dr. Sheikh Omar Khan died of Ebola. Khan was a I, I had a long conversation with Jessica Partnow and uh, David Donkey, and, and it, it was a great talk. It was just pretty much like, tell us why we shouldn't pull you out. It wasn't, we're going to pull you out. It was, tell us why we shouldn't. In the end, they decided that I was satisfactory enough to let me stay. And uh, then one night, I like just woke up in the middle of the night to find an email from Professor Domke, uh, but then on top of his email, an email from a, uh, the UW's vice provost uh, saying uh, just the title, hey, Cooper, it's time to come home now. But as journalists, we take calculated risks, and it's important, it's important to know, it's important to avoid taking unnecessary risks. I think about Sierra Leone every single day, and I have wholeheartedly committed myself to returning next year. When I go back, I'm going to tackle it with more mustard than I, than I ever would have.